Welcome back everybody. This video is about the late simulation using late simulator that is likely the real operation. In the previous video, we have learned about preparations, facing and turning operations. Now in this video, we will do grooving and chamfering operations exactly according to the drawing plan. Now let's open our file that I had been that I had saved it before. Okay. In this file, we had been successfully operated facing and turning according to the drawing plan. So we had reduced the workpiece length into 85 millimeters and we have reduced the workpiece diameter from 40 millimeters to 30 millimeters along the 25 millimeters in length. Now we will conduct the uh, grooving and chamfering operations. Okay. First we have to change the cutting tool by touching the tool post lever so it will be rotated. I will change the view like this and I will carry away the cutting tool from the workpiece so it can be changed easily for the cutting tools in the tool post. Alright, now we can change the cutting tool by simply touching the tool post lever so it will be rotated like this. Good. After change it, we turn on the machine first and the spindle rotation counterclockwise. Okay, and then we approach the grooving cutting tool exactly at the edge of the 65 millimeters workpiece length end. I will show you how. Sorry, I accidentally touched the uh, tool post lever. Okay. All right. Now we approach the grooving cutting tool exactly at the edge of the 65 millimeter workpiece length end. Exactly at the elbow. Stop right there. Be careful because we can hit the cutting tool with the workpiece and then we use the manual hand wheel approach the cutting tool and touch it to the workpiece until you hear a cut sound And then push the zero button on the above of the carriage hand wheel measurement on the screen left side to calibrate it. Okay. And then for the calibration of the transversal movement, we approach the cutting tool to the workpiece in the transversal movement slowly and manually by sliding the tool post hand wheel to the right as you can see in the right side of the screen. Okay, first I will carry away the uh, the cutting the grooving cutting tool first a little bit from the workpiece. 
Okay. All right. And then sliding the tool post hand wheel to the right, to the right as you can see in the right side of the screen until you hear the cut sound. slowly all right after you hear the cut sound push the zero button in the tool post hand wheel all right, and then put back the uh, carrier channel wheel position into zero measurement. All right. Now we begin our grooving operation by moving the cutting tool into transfer set cutting by sliding the two post hand wheel on the screen left side until we reach our final groove depth of cut that is five millimeters. Just cut it slowly. If you are not confident enough, don't use automatic movement. Just use manual hand wheel. Remember, our final depth of cut for grooving is five millimeters. Now it's four. See on the right side of the screen, it's approaching five. All right, it's done. Now it is five millimeters. After finished grooving, we put backward the grooving cutting tool. Okay. And carry it away from the workpiece to the right side of the screen in front of the workpiece. Right. Now our grooving operation is done. We turn off the spindle speed first, the spindle rotation first. And then we carry it away our grooving cutting tool again with rapid movement as far as possible okay all right now we will do chamfering operation we change again the cutting tool and use back the rough cutting tool number five before by simply click the tool post lever and it will be rotated. All right, we will use this cutting tool again. After that, look at the upper right corner of the screen. Click the first button that had been highlighted in the green color and adjust the tool post angle position according to the uh, drawing plan. It is 30 degree. This is our drawing plan. So the chamfer distance is three millimeters and the chamfer angle is 30 degrees. Okay. Let's get back into the application. All right. Okay. We set it into uh, negative 30 degrees 
like this, okay. After that, we approach again the cutting tool with the workbench. Okay. All right. We turn on again the spindle rotation to activate the slow motion of the uh, longitudinal and transversal motion for the automatic transversal and longitudinal motion. Okay. All right. We approach again the cutting tool with the workpiece and touch the cutting tool until we hear the cut sound to calibrate the hand wheel. We still need to calibrate both of the longitudinal and transversal movement in order to comply to three millimeters of chamfering distance. Now we slide it slowly until we hear the cut sound. This is for the uh, long longitudinal movement. All right. And then calibrate it. Now for the uh, transversal movement. until we hear a cut sound. All right, so that calibrate it into zero position. Okay. After done calibration, then carry the cutting tool three millimeters into transversal movement to comply the three millimeters chamfer distance according to the drawing plan. Okay. Three millimeters. Put it back into the zero position. All right. Since th in this chamfering the operation is just slightly, then we can adjust the depth of cut to 3 millimeters at once, a little bit above the allowable 2 millimeters depth of cut. Okay. Now click the tool post chamfering hand wheel button on the second button at the screen upper right corner. This one. And slide the hand wheel slowly to the right. When the cutting tool, wait, I will turn off the other hand wheel as well. Okay. Now just simply slide the hand wheel slowly to the right. Then the cutting tool will cut the workpiece properly. Okay, all right. After finish, turn off the spindle and carry away the cutting tool. Remember, don't use automatically movement. The automatic movement is only for the transversal movement and longitudinal movement.
All right, now turn off the spindle. Okay. After finish, turn off the spindle, carry away the cutting tool and turn off the machine. I will turn off the machine. And clean the chips basket. We can make sure the measurement is correctly according to the drawing plan for the grooving depth and the chamfering distance. This is our last result. Now, let's see if we write in the measurement or not. The first diameter of the workpiece is now we're measuring the chamfering distance. The first diameter is 30 millimeters, and the second diameter is 27 millimeters. So the chamfering distance is 3 millimeters. Okay. And then for the uh, grooving depth of cut, the first diameter is 30, the second one is Twenty five millimeters. Okay. So the grooving depth of cut is exactly according to the drawing plan, that is five millimeters. All right. Now our grooving and chamfering tutorial is done. With this, our exercise has been done all to manufacture the milled steel workpiece using the late operations according to the drawing plan. In the real operation, the precise measurement is very important. It is really, really important things to be concerned about because once the measurement is exceed or less than the drawing plan, then it will be reduced. It will reduce our workpiece quality. Sometimes in the industry, it will be rejected. The rejections also increasing the waste of the manufacturing and increasing the production cost effectiveness. I'm sorry, increasing the waste of the manufacturing and decreasing the production cost effectiveness. It will be very loss for the industry. Okay, with this tutorial is done, then our entire tutorials for the late simulation has been over. I hope you can understand what is the essential of the tutorials step by step and can practically be applied by your own. Thank you for the attention and the time and good luck everyone.